welcome back guys so now let's talk about the summer e-commerce so complete set Move straight into the video. Meanwhile, give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe. So firstly, let's have a quick knowledge of what seller is. Seller is an e-commerce tool that enables you create a page, set your products, get a shareable link to your product, and gives access to your clients to make payments from different parts of the world. And you get credited straight to your local bank account. Yeah, that's just a summary of what seller is. So now I want to teach you four major aspects of seller so that you can go ahead and sell your products to anyone across the borders. Okay, so firstly, we will begin by creating a seller account so to do that you just open your browser and search for this seller yeah you can see this here seller.co dot seller.co sign up look at it now you tap on this option you can see the seller logo here okay so now you you have it so the moment you browse that link seller.co sign up it will bring you to this page you simply scroll now you impute your username so this first stage you simply create your account now we are done with the account creation now the second stage is add bank details set up bank details you simply tap on set up bank details now your bank account you select your country your bank name and the account number verify account you tap on verify account yeah you see they just brought in the name of the bank the the account now continue if it's correct yeah okay so now you have just created your bank account now to add product you tap on add product this is important. Is it physical product, digital product, ticket subscription service? Now we are creating a digital product yeah, because it's a course that I'm teaching. So I, I select digital product. Sell any kind of digital product from ebooks to any downloadable product to music and so on. Now scroll, select next. So this is a blank page. This is all that you see. Now we move to the number three, create product. So to create product, you impute your product name. This option you see right here is for you to drop the flyer or banner that you have designed for this. So now you must have made your design. So you tap on it, done. Now it will come right here. If you have up to 10 or more, you can impute it. But now for beauty's sake, you have to add just two for a start so that the people will scroll and see other information you have. Now, what is the name? You should have known the name of your product. Smartphone. I'll make it bold. Smartphone graphic design course. The price. You impute the price, just 2005 it doesn't require comma. Now, this track through option they place here means if you want to add a price it was before, like you see in most adverts, they'll tell you that before it was 10,000, but now they want to give you offer of 2,005. So I'll put 10,000 here. And now if you want it to be bold or anything, you impute it. Okay, so now you continue with customizing the page. Now, this is a fresh page. So you start by typing your text here. Open my notes and get the text that I've already typed. Yeah, you should get this ready before that. Who is this course for? Copy. Now open the site, you paste it. Now this is important. You select each test and now apply some beautiful features to it. You tap on this button right here, this small triangle that are facing each other. You tap on it and select the heading. This should be very bold. And now you select the letter B, meaning bold. Because this is the first letter that people will see. And now you choose the color by adding the A with plus. Yeah, you select the color. What color should this be? Let me make it blue. Now look at it. Now, let me select the rest and make the heading. See where you select the heading, the small triangle. Select the heading, number two. Okay, now scroll, tap next. You can take your time and come to my page. When After this, we'll pre what will you learn? Let me take this first. Copy, get there and paste it. Now, I'll be applying some new features so that you'll learn more. Now, this is what I want to add. Right here. We get more features blue you see that right now for the text color the a white and make it bold and now for the heading you select number two because we have already started with the first heading okay now and for the body also we can still make it two the heading two also so here we have it now we still scroll next now let's get the next day remember this is the third okay so who is anchoring this training? You just try as much as possible to give the shortest comprehensive explanation of what the people will get and why they should pay. Now, paste it. Remember, this does not auto save. So, after a while, okay, I'll show you how to save now. Select, scroll, bold, color, blue. I really don't need a lot of color in here. 
blue and the heading too. Yeah, and this is okay. Now select this also. Scroll, heading two. Okay, and that's it. Now the next phase is, let's see the next thing there. So this is a way of you creating a landing page and also a landing page that, that gives the people access to make payment as well. After I make payment, what next? Okay, paste. Using the same font right here. Heading two. If you have any question, you can drop it below. Yeah, this is this takes the, the shape of a landing page. Yeah, it's a landing page. The major difference between this and the landing page is that it also gives your clients access to pay directly to your account and now direct the person to your tutorial class. I'll show you all that. You just have to be a little bit patient. Okay. And now you see that this is long already. So we get the last one. May I see the... May I see things I can design after I make payments? Copy. Paste. Make it bold. Yeah, apply the same. Bold. Blue. Heading 2. So now, this is a new sort of tutorial. And here you add image. In order to add image here, you simply select this gallery icon. You see an image icon here. You, you tap on it. And where, where it will be added is the very place that image is. Okay. So we get image. Okay, this is one. You have to make the selection one after the other. You, you tap and give, click on next to add another. You scroll up. You tap on the image again, the image icon. You scroll again. You tap, you click on next. Yeah, the next. We are actually doing this with smartphone, you get. If you do not know, you, you might need this graphic design training if you're not already a graphic designer. So you can apply here. So now later, I'll add more images. So let me just show you other things. And now we preview this page so that you see how it appears in the eyes of the person who is trying to purchase the course. Let's say you also want to add a video. If you want to add a video too, you simply click here. Look at this. It's for a video. And now this is for you to number. Like you want to, instead of adding this, if you tap on number right now, it means you have to select all of it. If you select from here to here, let's say you want to number here to here. Okay, let me do it. Select here to here. Just want to show you how the page works. So you want to number here. You see that, right? And now, so why did it number this place that you have a space? Now, if you want to use this option, this extra space, it numbered it while you're typing. Anywhere you give next is one, one line you get. So this, I gave next twice. That's why you see it. It numbered even the places that shouldn't be numbered. You get? Okay. This page is set. So in order to save this, this is what you do. You simply scroll. Okay, now, this is very, very important. You mustn't miss this. If not, everything is more like a vein. There's a question here. Automatically redirect the buyer to an external link. Like if a person finish here and make payment, where should the person be directed to? So now let's say you already have your WhatsApp or Telegram link. You click this box here. Now you paste the link. Let's assume you want immediately they finish making payments. They will get directed to this very group. You get now after this, you tap on create product. You get. You need to upload a product file. Okay. If this option here, if this option is active, it means it's a file that they will download after making payment. Let's say that they pay for ebook. It is this option you select. So that immediately they pay, they will get the ebook file to download. But, but that's not what we are doing here. So I will unmark this. So you should also know that if this is ticked, if you cannot tick this and tick this also, you just have to choose one option. So now we create. You see that, right? You need to select a category. Oh, didn't we? Product detail, basic product details. Okay. It's category. That's what we need to set right here. Oh, sorry. The product category, you select your product category. Content and media. Take content and media, subcategory, graphic design. Okay, so this must be said also. Now create product. So this product has been created. Now you have to copy the link. Here is your product link. You tap on it. So the moment anyone clicks on that link, we'll go back to copy it. Yeah, you have to copy the link. The moment anyone clicks on it, this is how it will appear on the person's phone. Now the person will see what you have. Smartphone graphic design, Ogechi Victoria. This course is for you if you have, you see that, right? Buy now, you see that, right? So this is all that you created. Now you can go ahead and take your product link and paste it in as many places as possible on your WhatsApp, on all your social media handles uh, to individuals. You can use your 
your auto reply app to customize it you can use your bulk sms sender you send the messages to people and i will show you another video how you can get more people to buy your product yeah that's also on how to make sales on whatsapp or whatsapp marketing strategy and that's it for this tutorial give a thumbs up click subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get the next upload that we